Hello everybody, and welcome once again to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War, the English Campaign, part number 68. Well, after putting the video up about 14 hours ago, putting part 67 up and asking you, shall I attack the French, despite the Pope interfering, sticking his beak into my business, um, he's a Danish pre... he's a Danish uh, Pope. Um, and Danes are our allies, oh, so this is going to be quite a tough decision. But uh, you have overwhelmingly said, bugger him and his, you know, his interference, attack the French, wipe the French out, because hey, we're England, we are the second biggest nation in this land. But let's not forget that the Danes are more powerful than me at this current moment in time and it is a Danish Pope, so mm, we'll see how that pans out, but we're going to keep this game as interesting as possible, and I'm going to listen to you, you voted for me to attack the French now, and that is what I'm going to do. So Pope face, screw you, I'm going to attack the French. And we're going to start off with this pitiful peasant army here, led by Captain Thevenin. Him and his cronies are going to feel the backlash of my army led by Nicholas Austin. So here we go. This will result in excommunication. I don't care. By God's will, we have triumphed! As you command, my liege. Come on. Oh, I can't reach him. Hmm, I've attacked, but he hasn't excommunicated me yet. Unless it's going to happen when I end the turn. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. The, f the French. The French. Oh, have I been excommunicated? Have I been excommunicated? Popey. Oh, very poor relations. Very poor relations. Oh, Henry's died in London, I don't believe it. He's the last of the sons of the original King William the Conqueror. Oh, there's a plague in Marseille. Where's Marseille? <gasps> oh, no. Right, I have to temporarily pause it while I get my breakfast. Bear with me, I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yes. It was muesli for breakfast today, so I have all sorts of oats stuck in my damn teeth now. So, <laughs> if I start stuttering, you know why. Okay, I've done the housekeeping whilst I was eating, and therefore it allows me more time to concentrate on the fun things, like attacking these heathens. Uh, yeah, we had a plague in Marseille, which I am not too fussed about. It helps to reduce the population, which will hopefully increase my public order a little bit here. The only concern is I have a very young general in here, there was only 33 and could become useful in other escapades. I do not want him to die. Now if I take him out now, will he have a plague? I don't know. He's, he's already in the city. And also we have um, a Milanese family member with a full stack army lurking somewhere near Marseille. Um, I really do not want Mitchell to die, so I could do with taking him out of Marseille, leaving Marseille to its own devices and maybe bringing Mitchell back up to Angers. Trouble is, I don't have an army to give him to march him up, and if I march him up on his own, he's probably going to end up dead. So I'm in a bit of a quandary, so to speak. So I may have to pack out Marseille with weak spear militia. Take Mitchell out. Mind you, if he's got a plague and I start putting him into another city, is he going to spread a plague? It's all very interesting. Right, well, I'm going to try. Am I to win over half? We suspect you will waste our time. Oh, they just do not, not want to entertain a ceasefire. Do they? They really just do not want to entertain a ceasefire. I don't suppose there's any point anymore, because if I get excommunicated, well... It doesn't matter anyway, does it? Right. This concludes our meeting, yes? And secondly, I want to. S My lord, I'm thankful to be back. Um, daughter of the crown. Obviously, Denmark. Are the, shall I represent our? Are probably the uh, 
the largest faction at the moment slightly more powerful than me according to the statistics and therefore I really need to see how many lands they've got so I'm going to try and get some map information there because I need to see how they are positioned in case they start attacking me if I get excommunicated so that's that <sighs> not enough chit chat because the time has now come that French people must lose another one of their cities Command me, sire. I love that I was just noticing, when the general is chivalrous and quite happy... My liege. My liege. How can I help you? Can I kiss your feet? And when he's got dread, he's so rude. An order. An order. My king. My king. Very rude and abrupt. I like that. Mind you, he is the king, so he can afford to be rude and abrupt. Anyway, that's enough of my observations. Let's kick some backside. Oh. They'll wish they would never been born, sir. Oh dear. Besieging the cowards, Malaysia. Besieging the cowards. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sir. <laughs> King of Rolls, I like your style, my friend. I like your style. Right, I'm excommunicated. Oh dear, this is the first time in any of my medieval Total War games that I've been excommunicated. And uh, I feel quite rebellious. I feel quite rebellious. Um, yeah. I couldn't give a flying monkeys. Yes. Time yes, to die! To crush the enemy. Oh my god. Laurenti de Nogarat. He's actually a family member, or is he a captain? No, he's a family member, isn't he? I think. Anyway, good night and God bless, because you're about to die. Yes, you are. Oh! Oh! Such is the fate of all who oppose Pose us! And sack it! Sack it! Take the spoils of war! <laughs> no words spoken so true, my friend. Let's take those spoils. Lovely, boy, lovely. Right. So, that is a one settlement of the French totally and utterly handed over to the English. Second of all, this little Hail my king. pitiful army of peasants. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Oh. An honourable, glorious victory. Now, normally I As would... you command, oh. my liege. <laughs> Bloody hell. Thank you. I would normally fight a battle like this. Three to one isn't so overwhelming odds in our favour, and I've got a feeling the computer's going to make me lose a few men. However, we are in trees, and I cannot stand battles in trees. It's just horrendously bad, and therefore I'm going to have to auto-resolve it. I do apologise that we are auto-resolving these type of battles. It would be good to see a battle like this on the field, but as I say, because I'm in the trees right now, I cannot fight on the map. I absolutely detest fighting in trees. It's just so awkward. So I'm going to have to auto-resolve this one as well. So here we go. There we go. Well, we've halved their army. That's what. This the only thing I don't like about auto resolve is they never totally obliterate the enemy. They kill a few men and let them run off. But uh, as I say, the trees were the ones that did it for me there. Execute. Lord, honor, victory. victory. Right. Okay. So Paris is their stronghold. So we're going to pick off their weaker settlements first. So this guy can now march towards here. As you will, my king, to battle. Lovely jubbly. Relations worsened with Sicily. Oh dear, we're getting poor relations. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I know what's happened here. I've been excommunicated, and now a lot of my settlements have turned... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Their public order has decreased, and that will be due to being excommunicated. Must be. Public order. Excommunication. 20% hit. Oh, I didn't factor into that. I didn't know that happened. I've never been excommunicated before. I did not know that was going to happen. So now I have to lower my taxes to appease the people. Which means that excommunication is not good for your uh, economy. That is for certain. Well, I'll lower the tax rates. I'll lower the tax rates. Oh, no. How much money have I got? 12,000 to spend. Okay. Oh, London. Lower the tax rate. 
Rons! Lower the tax rate. Okay. Right, Rons needs to build something because last time we uh, missed it out of the fun and games. So you can have a warehouse. Uh, Marseille is on a blue face, but there's nothing we can do about that. Angus and Nottingham have just finished their bits My and bats, so we can afford to build something maybe in Nottingham. Or Angus. Let's have a look first. Uh, I'll go for a catapult maker. That leaves us with 5,000, which we will spend in reams on the next turn. So join me then.